What's going on guys? FIFA Fita here, back again with another video. It's been 10 months since the last time I did one. My YouTube channel, you I don't off. even... I fell <laughs> off, dude. I don't even know if my... I don't even think my YouTube channel is FIFA Fita no more. Due to uh, professional setting reasons. My professor, he's like, what's your Gmail? And I was like, oh, it's FIFA Fita. Blah, blah, blah. I'm not going to say my Gmail. And then he's like, it's just... Uh, FIFA FIFA? And I was like, oh shit. I was like, yeah, that's me. Yeah, that's me. And I had to switch it. So I don't know if I'm going to switch it back, but my name should be under just like my real name, Rafael Medina. And my social security is. No, <laughs> <laughs> uh, today, of course, I'm wearing like a camisa de papa. The lost thing in Papa. De papa. Oh, dude, my hair's already a mess. Phone case de papa. There you go. And uh, we're going to be talking about how La Liga MX. Is it Grita Mexico? Yeah, Grita Mexico. Liga MX, Grita Mexico is the best Basura. league in the <laughs> world, man. I don't know. Me and Adolfo and a couple of... They're not my friends. They're like his friends and family. I got one of my friends to join it. Aquinela. Um, and I guess that's pretty much why we came to the conclusion why the Mexican league is the best league. It's so competitive. All right, so uh, Adolfo, if you want to pull up yours and I'll pull up mine. Yeah. So key key games that were a little bit thrown off from the Quinella were the, was the America one. <laughs> starting off, starting off strong, America. <laughs> Obviously, Tijuana didn't play this weekend. I would have got that one. Yeah. I would. I only got, look, okay, for better reference, out of nine games, out of nine games, I only got three. three. I only got three right. Adolfo only got four. Yeah. And uh, I think the people who won it only got five, so that means that the chances were very slim of winning. Um, so it was very unpredictable. Of course, when Chivas plays, it's super predictable. And when Cruz Azul plays, super predictable. I mean, they did do a Cruz Azul. Yeah, but you got the Cruz Azul, bro. No, I didn't. I put time. What? what? No! Yeah. Bro, I could have sworn I put time. I told Eddie, I told, I told him I was gonna do a tie. All right, that's another one. So we had America versus Atlas. Uh, America lost at home two to zero, and then we had Monterrey Cruz Azul, which was probably the the match of the weekend. Uh, I guess I put Monterrey was gonna win in my mind. I thought they were gonna tie, and Monterrey ended up drawing the game in the final what four minutes? Yeah. Two zero. Two. They were down two zero, tied two two. Um, Tigres and Pumas. Pumas has been on fire. I think they're in first place right now. Let me double check that. Hold on. What? All right, so Cruz Azul in first place. Atlas, <laughs> dude, no wonder America lost to Atlas. America's in 14th. Yeah, Atlas 14th. is in second, man. They really wanted the 14th. Dude, Atlas is the campeón. Right? I mean, wait, what? You really wanted the 14th title? I wanted so the 14th, 14th title, please. Oh, it's gonna be covered with stars right over here yeah. soon enough. But you just got 14th place. I just instead. got 14th place instead. <laughs> mid table team, mid table team this this season. Um, Pumas were in third place or are in third place. They have nine goals scored and only three goals received. They played Tigres, who are in 11th place, who've only scored. They've only scored three goals. Three Two goals. of them came in that game with Pumas, and they've gotten scored on four. And they came from losing against Puebla. Yeah, 2-0. They came from losing against Puebla, and then I think they drew against Santos 1-1. Yeah. And last minute goal. goal with Carlos Salcedo. They did that in the Liguilla. Yeah. Same same player? Yeah. But at, Salcedo, yeah. Wait, what stadium? Universitario? Yeah. Was it? I don't know. Either way, Carlos Salcedo <laughs> did the same thing. Um, he's a rompaquinelas. And uh, I put that they were going to lose, Tigres, and they ended up... Uh, they ended up winning yeah. off a of PK in the 95th minute, I think it well, was. Well, Pumas is looking really strong this season. Pumas is looking very no, strong. No, uh, no players, but they're doing good with well, the, uh, the player base that they already they have. have a, they have a Brazilian dude who scored like three, but, three but or did four they, goals. Did they get any players? No, they didn't. No, I don't think they, they did. I don't think they did. And they got rid of a couple of key players? They got rid of uh, Eric Lira. Um... El Picolin Palacios. <laughs> oh, no. I don't know. I don't know who they got rid of, but they got rid of quite a, a couple. A couple. Yeah, couple. And they didn't get anything. Same with America. America cleared like their whole squad. Only ended up getting four players: Jonathan, Diego Valdez, uh, Jorge Mere, and Sendejas. I think his name is Jorge Mere and Sendejas. And that's about it. Chivas have only. They didn't get anyone. One, one win. 
What the heck? What law? One, 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 seven. What's, what's their position on the table? Oh, they're higher than America at all. <laughs> <laughs> that's not good. That's going to change by the end of the season. But who'd they get? Uh, they got just El Piojo and uh, oh, second man. division play. El Piojo that hasn't done anything. And then I'm expecting El Chicote to do any Chicotazos on America this season. <laughs> I don't think that's going to happen. Bimbo's shocked. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> He's still traumatized. Have you seen the... Uh, Oh, you sent it to me. The um, Cabecita Rodriguez is fined for uh, leaving his child behind. Yeah, and he's leaving his child. <laughs> Chola was his child last season, for the past couple seasons. I guess we can predict our next one right now and we can look back at it and fill it out if you want to do that. We'll fill out a uh, uh, what do you think? Uh, okay. You want uh, to be buff? Okay, yeah. So February 5th, um, America versus San Luis, right? That's the yeah. first one. Um, of course, America is going to win. El, el Rey de los Reyes. Uh, you... Yeah, America. Okay. okay. Um, Necaxa Pachuca. Um, Necaxa play good. They Necaxa play Santos. good. They play I, I'd probably go with a tie. Because Pachuca lost against Leon. Sure. I'm going to go with a tie. I'm so, a win and tie for both. Tie. All right, we'll, we're on agreement. Uh, Juarez and Chivas. Chivas, dude. I'm telling you, it's so predictable. Chivas <laughs> has to win that game. Chivas has <laughs> to win Because they have a rough... Where's Juarez? Juarez? Juarez is in fifth, fifth and yeah. Chivas is in ninth. Right. Okay, I'll go with a draw. What do you? What do you? I'll go Chivas. Chivas? Okay. Four, I have I'll, to. I'm gonna put draw. Chivas. Tijuana Pumas. 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 Yeah. Pumas for sure. All right. Next couple games is Querétaro Puebla. Puebla. Querétaro tied and they played really solid in the back against Chivas. I think I'm gonna go for a tie. I'm gonna go for Puebla because they were supposed to play Tijuana. I don't mm -hmm. know if that's gonna happen soon, but I'm gonna go for Puebla. Um, Atla Santos, <laughs> dude. Big brother versus little brother. Mm, I think I'm gonna go with Atlas because they're in, well, they're in second, huh? I would just disagree with you. Go Santos. Santos? Yeah. Atlas is gonna face their first loss. All right. Well, they're playing at home, so I already you already said you can't change it. Once we say oh, yeah, it here, yeah, we Santos. can't change it. All right. Santos. I'm Atlas. Tigres Mazatlan. Tigres. They have to get their form back. Tigres is going to be one of those teams that that starts off slow, but it's going to slowly get better. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm going with Tigres even though I'm going to go with Tigres. Mazatlan is in second to last place. Um, and I kind of want to go with... I want to go with Tigres, but I'll go with... Yeah, I'll go with Tigres. They're playing at home. So, uh -huh. Tigres. And then Leon Cruz Azul. Cool. That one's a good one. Be a good game. Leon's playing at home. I'm, I'm going to go with Leon. I'm going to go Cruz Azul. Wow. Visiting. We're gonna shake on it right here. <laughs> oh, magic! <laughs> so there's another Cruz Azul um, Yeah, that's what I'm hoping for. <laughs> yeah, so basically that's pretty much the sum of La Liga MX, Grita Mexico, Clausura 2022. They're it's a good season so far. So that's it for this video. We'll be back with a uh, Concacaf World Cup qualifying video. So uh, peace out.